Hey guys, I'm Dan. I'm Joe. And we're the Meeple People. Today we're going to be showing you a standalone expansion for Arcadia Quest, Arcadia Quest Inferno. It's actually pretty awesome from what I've seen already. And we got Frost Dragon, which is a uh, new miniature for the game as well. So we're going to start off with the standalone expansion here, Inferno. Let's see what, what little bits and pieces we got in here. It's like Christmas. You have to unwrap the paper and you throw everything to the side. It's great, ain't it? To the side. <laughs> this thing is heavy, guys. There is so much in here, it's not even funny. The game's made by Cool Mini or not. And like I said, it is a, an expansion, so if you haven't played it already, go play Arcadia Quest. It's nice a little, lot of fun. A little rule book. Got nice graphics on it. It's nice and bright and bold. And since it's a whole new campaign, it comes with a whole new campaign book full of everything you need to know to play the game. The best part about Arcadia Quest is you don't need a dungeon master to play it. Everybody gets a chance. You just gotta follow the book. Along with the game, you come with new guilds here. Let's take a look at these. Up to four new guilds here. Looks like we got the Serpent, the Tiger, the Crow, and Shark. Crow. That's <laughs> and what would a dungeon crawler game be without so Tons of many punch tokens? Outs. Tons of punch outs. <laughs> All the punch outs. Now the biggest difference when it comes to punch outs here from what I've seen is these. They're called damnation tokens. We'll get them to them more once we get them to the game. Tracker, so you can follow your quest. Alright. Before we get to the fun stuff. All Here's... the weapons. All the weapons. So many little cards. <laughs> and of course, they come with all different levels. There's level 1, 3, 2, 4. For as long as the game goes. If you ever played Arcadia Quest, the weapons are probably one of the, the more fun parts of the game. The whole game is fun, but just getting upgrades for the weapons and seeing what you can get and all the crazy stuff you can do with them makes it that much better. Now, even though Arcadia Quest is a party game, it's also a player versus everybody game. So no matter what, you're always going to be going up against whoever you're playing with. And with that comes quests. All different quests through the campaign, but the ones that are going to stand out the most are the ones that you'll always have to do. Player versus everybody. That's where you lose friends. <laughs> you get dice. So if you already have the first Arcadia Quest, these dice are also backwards compatible with that. Cross compatible, whatever you want to call it. So more dice. Never bad to have. Your monster cards over here. When we go through the tokens, we'll go through more of the cards. But for the most part, it's a whole new set of demons. Demons are pretty cool. <laughs> it looks nice. We'll save these boxes for a little bit later. The tiles. Big part of this game is all the maps that you have to make. I'm not going to go through all the tiles because you're not going to be able to tell the difference right now. They're pretty much all red and gray. But if you can look closely on here, you'll see it's pretty much hell. Like, you got dragged down to hell from Arcadia. The <laughs> whole story behind it is that the angels that were help uh, guarding Arcadia from the last game got pulled down here. So a whole new set of heroes are questing to try and save them. And if you go through the tiles here, even on the back it's got like a little demon thing in here and you'll see bits and pieces of the angels and whatnot all in the map here. Great detail. Now the fun stuff. Alright, let's crack this back first. I think these are the villains. Yes it is. So these are the demons. Demons and other characters. So let's see. We got this guy. I'm guessing he's one of the boss demons. That one's pretty sweet. And it's like these are all. This looks like I think they're all of them. So no, these are these are all the heroes. So cool mini or not, you're never gonna go wrong with these guys. Their minis are amazing. So but all of them are new heroes, and the best part is everything in here is backward cross compatible with Arcadia Quest. So these guys can play in your old quest and the old guys can come and play in your new one. So pretty sweet. This guy almost looks like Legolas from Lord of the Rings. It's pretty my favorite character. It's pretty cute. Do have to admit though my favorite is 
this guy here, the Jester, the Jester kind of reminds me of the old school, the Batman Joker, if you guys remember that cartoon from Kids WB, Pix11, whatever it is now. If not, search that up. It's awesome. Looks like we got like a, like a Conan the Barbarian kind of guy. Oh, he's pretty cool. And we also got these little stands. So when you're actually playing the game, you click them onto the base of the character. I'll show you. And this way you keep track of who's who, what you got. Go on. Like so. Snap on, snap off. Just got a double, uh, double bows. That's pretty sweet. And if those are our heroes and our big guys, and our big baddie, what's a game without the little baddies? Again, cool mini or not. size baddies, because it got some, looks like some crazy gargoyle guys right here. You're never going to go wrong demon, with these guys. Demon creatures. I'm not looking forward to getting, getting close to these guys. They'll probably destroy you. <laughs> but what would hell be without Cerberus, guys? I mean, just wouldn't be hell. At least of the Greeks. This guy who tried me is pretty cool. This dude's jacked with that. Hell oh, yeah. So... Hell yeah. <laughs> Remember a little while ago when I was telling you guys about the angels of Arcadia Quest? Well, they got dragged down to hell with them, and they're playable characters. It's one of the coolest features in this game. So all these guys will have all different abilities and everything that you actually have to quest for and get, which means your opponent can also get them. Makes them a little overpowered if everybody gets more than one of them, but it's worth it. You essentially can win the game. Now, these guys have abilities and their abilities will help get rid of the damnation tokens i was telling you about which can buff or hinder depending on what you're doing and the last but not least is the big body himself oh and, my god this is his, actually really sweet and his throne too look at that oh it's taped in there i hate when they do this <laughs> look at that look at that Look at that. To be fair, I have no idea who this is, but if it's not Beelzebub himself, I don't know what what it is. But he's awesome. I cannot wait to play this game against this guy. I don't. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna die. <laughs> now, here was the standalone game. Slash expansion. What would this game be without more expansions? Let's check out our next big boss. Frost Dragon. Alright. Let's get this bad boy open. Yeah, Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. It's a tight seal. There we go. All right. So like the, like before, we got the nice booklet. Got the dragon on the back. Looks pretty sweet. And we got more punch outs. Bunch of bunch of crawlers because you know frost dragon. So you got a bunch of ice stuff. Ice punch outs. We also have his lair. And if you want to check it out, this side here looks like it's very much Arcadia. And then flips right over to Inferno. So you can go from the burning pits of hell to the freezing frost dragon. Okay, this tape, so I'm give me a second. Mm -hmm. oh, the tape. The All bane the tape. of every gamer. Oh, the tape. Mm -hmm. So we got two more. Holy God, this guy is huge. Yeah. Well, this is that's a pain, so I'm just gonna show you. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this isn't. No, we're just gonna show you. This guy's gotta come out and play. Yeah. If I've gotta clean up this mess, I might as well take him out. I wanna snap his wings in just so we can see him in his oh full God. glory. Look at, that, look at that wing, man. Look at that. Look at that detail. Got it. I hope. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Guys, this thing towers. Towers over all your characters. You, yeah. Look, this is how big your hero is. <laughs> going up against this thing. You are going to need a party. Look at this. Freaking huge. You're going to die. <laughs> As you can tell, you're going to die. <laughs> And the cards in here, again, he's going to have his own separate quest that you can build into your own, which is amazing. So again, guys, 
If you haven't checked it out already, play Arcadia Quest. It's one of our favorite games as the Meeple people ourselves. We've all gave it a try. One so, more thing. Try not to die. <laughs> so I'm Dan. I'm Joe. We're the Meeple people. Signing off. <laughs>